Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kazi. In the next few series of videos, we are going to understand the whole anatomy of the pelvis. So the question arises, what exactly is the pelvis? Have a look. It's the region of the trunk which is inferior to your abdomen. For example, we have the abdomen somewhere right here. So it is the region of the trunk which is inferior to the abdomen where your lower limbs will meet the trunk. Okay? So how would you define what is trunk? Trunk is the part of the body apart from your head, neck, upper limbs and the lower limbs. So the structure which are left are included in the trunk, pelvis, vertebral column and the ribs. So it's a joining point, pelvis, between the lower limb and the trunk, okay? The pelvis is also known as the basin-shaped cavity. And why do we need this basin-shaped cavity? One very important function of the pelvis is the transmission of weight down from the vertebral column into the lower limbs. Also, the protection of important internal reproductive organs of the males as well as the females. It also provides some kind of protection and support for the GIT organs as well as the urinary tract. Okay? And also the attachment sites of the muscles. Now let's get rid of this femur bones and this vertebral column and see the bony features of the pelvis. Have a look at this diagram. Okay? Very simple to understand. We can see that pelvis is made up of four bones, sacrum, coccyx, and the two os coxi. The sacrum, this one, shown in the red color. Beneath the sacrum, we have the coccyx, and this os coxi, also known as the hip bone, on both sides. These four bones together form the pelvic. Okay? Now, Let's take out this one hip bone and study its features. The hip bone is further composed of three major bones, ilium, ischium, and the pubis. Have a look at this diagram. The green one, ilium, red one, ischium, the shown in the blue color, pubis. Now these three bones fuse together to form the hip bone. This is what this hip bone will look like if you look at it from the lateral side, okay? And if you turn around, this is what this hip bone will look like. Obviously, you cannot see the pubic bone from the lateral side. You have to turn it around, okay? Now, how many joints are there in the pelvic cavity? Very easy to remember. Only two joints. Sacroiliac joint and the symphysis pubis. Sacroiliac joint is formed posteriorly. Have a look at this diagram. Sacroiliac joint. It means the joint is formed between the sacrum and the iliac part of the hip bone. This joint right here is the sacroiliac joint. Symphysis pubis, the two hip bones joint anteriorly to form this now, how the pelvic cavity is oriented in our body in an anatomical position, the normal position? Have a look. The front part of the anterior superior iliac spine and the symphysis pubis are in the same vertical line. The front part of the sacrum is oriented forward and downward. This was all about the introductory video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.